Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is Why I Hate the World. About two videos ago I made a video um, about uh, Trump's um, military strike on Syria and how, um, you know, uh, that was a bad idea and it gets us involved in the region and all that. And now it's been about two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. And you know, it's, uh, I've, I've no I now realize that I didn't have much to worry about because the entire thing was a farce to begin with. And it appears that the, it appears the entire thing was just done to get us poll numbers up and to turn, you know, suspicion away from, um, you know, the Russia scandal. So, um, a quick recap, he fired, um, so what happened was that, uh, the Assad people used chemical weapons again, right, you know, and <clears throat> killed a bunch of people in a town with uh, sarin gas. And uh, Donald Trump was, you know, <laughs> convinced by his daughter, apparently, to do something about it. And he launches 59 missiles at this Syrian airbase and, you know, kills nine people, apparently. But, you know, now I'm not so sure because now it looks like that planes were being launched from this airbase the day after um, this airstrike. So, how do you launch 59 missiles, you know, Tomahawk missiles or whatever, at, a, at an airport, at an airbase, and, you know, not functionally destroy it? Right. And it turns out that they uh, they kind of gave Russia and Syria a heads up that this strike was coming so that they were able to evacuate people, you know. So you don't really attack another country, you know, like you don't really give them advance notice that you're going to attack them, right? You don't like tell them, hey, we're going to blow this thing up so you guys can get all your people out. That kind of defeats the purpose of attacking somebody, you know. Um, so it, it seems like, you know, this, this attack was just largely symbolic, you know, it didn't actually really kill anybody. You know, they say that nine people died, but now I kind of don't believe that, you know. And now they're also saying that it didn't actually destroy the base, so what was it there for, you know? And I think it's kind of telling that um, Eric Trump is this, you know, Donald Trump's son, uh, kind of came out the next day and said, you know, in a quote, he said, um, if there was anything Syria did, it was to validate the fact that there is no Russia tie. So you kind of gave it away right there. It's like, so they, they actually didn't want to attack, you know, Syria. And they, this, they did this symbolic strike to make it look like he was tough, you know, in order to get his poll numbers up. And it's like, you know, it's, and then, you know, you look at that and then you look at kind of what's happened since then. And it's kind of apparent that he's using military strikes to, like, you know, <laughs> to increase his poll numbers, right? And so what happened after that? You know, a week later, they drop um, the Moab in Afghanistan, the mother of all bombs, which was, like, it's still in the fucking news. It's been, like, a week and a half, and they're still talking about it. You know, the uh, it's the largest um, bomb, non-nuclear bomb used in combat since, you know, ever. And they drop, they drop it on a tunnel complex in Afghanistan and kill, you know, 36 uh, militants or whatever. At least they claim to. But apparently a bunch of civilians got killed from this thing, too, because it's, like, got a freaking gigantic blast radius. Right. You know, and it's kind of, like, overkill. It's like, why, why would you do that? Why would you go, you know, Afghanistan, right? People in a cave. Why would you drop this gigantic bomb on them? Essentially nuking them, you know, everything up to the, the largest bomb next to a nuke. Why would you drop that? And that, why would you do that? It's because it gets, you know, because it, it gets news coverage, all right? Does it, is it actually really going to be effective? And is it going to really stop Al-Qaeda or whatever? Or no, all right? You know, you kill 36 guys. You could have done that with a machine gun, you know, you could have done that with any number of targeted drone strikes or whatever, right? No, they wanted a symbol, you know, they wanted something that would get on the news that would put Trump, you know, out there and make him like, you know, to get his poll numbers up. And in this, it's like the same shit's happening now with North Korea. They're, they're fucking, 
You know, he's antagonizing North Korea to make it look like he's tough, you know. And it's working. If you go on, like, if you look at the news and you look at, like, you know, Joe, Joe Scarborough and, like, all the pundits and everything, you know, they're basically saying that his foreign policy is great. And it's like, no, it isn't, man. His foreign policy is a fucking disaster, you know. And it's And he's basically... He's basically killing people now to make himself look good because he has no accomplishments in his first 100 days. You know, what kind of person does that, all right? I'll tell you what the kind of person that does it, actually. A fucking narcissistic psychopath does that, all right? You know, whose, who, who's, like, solution is, like, oh, let's go kill some people, right? And that'll make everybody forget about how, like, I failed to, like, pass my Muslim ban and I failed to get my wall built and I failed to, like you know, repeal Obamacare, and I failed to accomplish any of the shit that I said I was going to accomplish within a hundred days. But no, look, I'm tough on terrorism. I'm tough, I'm tough on North Korea. You know, he's basically playing with all of our lives, especially when it comes to North Korea. You know, North Korea, that situation could spark at any moment. There was a thing in the news the other day where they said that, you know, North Korea was threatening nuclear war, all right? Yeah, they can't, you know, you know they can't shoot a missile at us here, Right, but they could do other things, right? They could blow up South Korea, they could kill millions of people in Seoul, South Korea, right? They could smuggle a bomb inside of a container on a ship and park it in the port of, uh, you know, Long Beach and blow up the entire fucking city. They could do that. I mean, there's other ways of delivering a nuke. It doesn't have to be on a missile, all right? It could already be here. That's another thing you don't think about. They could have already have smuggled one in years ago. Right, and have like an undercover agent somewhere just waiting to press the button. You know, people got to think about this shit, okay? There's like consequences, right? And he's basically like bringing us, he's, he's destabilizing the entire fucking world, right? Just to get his poll numbers up. It's the most despicable thing I've ever seen anybody do. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. And anybody out there who's like, you know, in support of this man, you're complicit. <laughs> you're complicit. When shit goes south, it's gonna be your fault too. All right? <laughs> it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Anyway, that's all I got today, folks. Adios.